Hello everybody, it's Demon here. Thank you so much for tuning into the Demon Cast. You're listening to Black Halo, Episode 9. Well, this is going to be the finale in the last episode that we recorded on Skype. I'm not quite sure how well the audio quality turned out um, right now, so I'm going to head through this and... uh, I might have to put up what happens when it gets too bad. You guys are going to have a couple quiet days before your uh, syndicate's stakeout thing. What are you doing with this building? Um, can you give me a knowledge check? Uh, what about investigate? Sure. Yeah, makes sense. Four. Nice. Okay, so dropping a building, or how you would normally drop a building, is you would set the main pillars that hold up the building with explosives, any steel beams that would go straight up, or steel columns, um, would generally be cut at an angle. Um, Then you would detonate it in such a way from the center outward so that the center crumbled in first, and that's how they get them to fall in first, as far as I know. Hmm. Now, you're asking how to do that with dark physics, right? Sure. I probably can't get in there and do that, so I'm assuming, yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. Even so, rigging the place to blow would be better. Well, you do know a guy. Which guy do we know? He does owe you. That'd be Arn. He's not in the best of moods, but it's been a couple days, right? Yep. And you guys knew number. I guess we can call him. So. So, what question do you got for him? Uh, would we be asking him to do it, or how, how to do it, or? That's up to you. Would he be able to do it? Like him, himself? You asking me or him? You. Um, I know the answer, but I don't know if I should tell you. Um, do I notice, no. (laughs) Do I notice the answer? No. No. (laughs) Um, I mean, he's better at dark physics than you. Yeah. So... I mean, he owes you one, right? For a couple different things, sort of. Sure. I guess we could ask him to do it. You do that. Um, he asks you if it's populated, basically. Just with the... Oh, the, what were they called? The demons? Syndicate? Oh, that's what be there? Syndicate? I thought... Yeah, this is a syndicate okay. building. Sorry, I was thinking it was the people on the TV. Yeah, it'd just be syndicate. Sure, no problem. Anything else? Um... Not really, no one can think of. So you're going to stake this place out while you're, um, waiting for it to blow? Sure. So, you and, uh, Toko are sitting in the car, staking this place out. You realize, notice... 
it does look pretty dead. So everything looks good there. Um, and you get a thing over the radio. It's your boss, a fox. Yeah. You, um... I presume that you got... You did get clearance to, uh, blow this place. Right? I cleared myself. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, um... So... <laughs> We got a um, report, the building that you're watching. Um, somebody called in with a bomb threat. They wanted us to nope. run in and evacuate it. Nope. Yeah, we uh, we headed it off. I will head them off here if they try to show up here. Yes, I was not aware that you were using actual bombs. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not stupid. If I can make your coffee mug disappear on a daily basis, what do you think? I, why wouldn't I do that to the pillars? Make the building implode on itself. You sure you yeah. can drop it? Yeah. Safely? Okay. Just let, informing you that... Uh, Somebody yeah, called in we'll a bomb threat away. here. No problem. Would I be able to take out his coffee mug from here? No, <laughs> you ask me that every game. Damn. You literally do ask me that. Oh, by the yeah. way, you get a raise. And an itemized list of things that you uh, out of your paycheck. That, we had actually discussed that on the last... Um, there was... Hmm. What you discussed, they got rid of your extra insurance stuff. They were charging you like an extra $200 for the stuff that you might uh -huh. destroy. Now they're just doing it for the stuff they have proof you did destroy. There's no proof. <laughs> One desk and about five <laughs> coffee cups. You never know what those... They could have self-combusted. Damn, kind of back. <laughs> Okay. Well, you guys are sitting in a car. There is a um, a building. Uh, Fox here is talking to um, has talked to Arin, who has agreed to blow this place. You don't know what time though. Build or blow? Uh, blow. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're gonna drop the building. And with. No explosive sounds. The building suddenly starts caving in on itself. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are locked in a cloud of dust. Roll up the windows. There's a knock on your car door. Hello? Crack the window barely, and all the doors are locked. It is a middle-aged... Middle-aged woman with white hair, um, white Asian clothing, and a bandana thing. Over oh, it's the uh, uh, fortune teller. Hi. What do you mean? Are you here? I figured it's not really. So, I just came to tell Fox things were going to come to a head. Okay. Um, Let's check of this. Is this the one that the building fell under? This is the... F uh, okay. No, this is just the fortune teller lady that you run into on occasion. Okay. Can we go on to any more detail then? We all have to make our choices. So, next time you see me, 
I can't guarantee we're going to be on the same side. All right, so the auto quality gets really bad, and um, we kind of fast forward. They just talked to the uh, fortune teller lady for a while, and she's just like, next time we meet, we might not be on the same side. Um, they went and did some stuff on the fate points and stuff like that. And then um, getting back into the game, over the next course of, of, course of a few days, um, the Oceanside portion of Morag City gets a shit ton of bomb threats. Um, some of these, well, the first one at least, um, they send out a bomb squad and actually find an actual explosive. So that gives credit to the rest of them. And they are evacuating a shit ton of people from the East Coast. Fox gets a message from an unknown number. Basically says, the time is now. Here's where you need to be. And gives them a, an address. And um, he does a quick search on some of his uh, networks and stuff. And basically finds out that the phone was activated about two minutes before he got the message. So, um... They're not really sure what's up with that. They're driving to the location when they hear a thundering sound coming from the east part of the city. Initially, it's thought that there are the explosives that were said to go off. Um, water starts erupting out of the um, out of the storm drains and flooding the streets, and that's when it hit Fox. Hits Fox that. Uh, Basically, the coastline just got hit by some type of tsunami. And you're in a deserted road. This place was close to the evacuated area previously. Um, you hear sirens in the backgrounds. Yeah. Okay. Uh. And every hair on Fox stands up on end. He goes Super Saiyan. That's so cool. <laughs> There's a person walking towards you guys. From down the road. It's a, uh, it's a man. Middle-aged. A good six foot tall, dark hair, dark eyes. Uh, really nice suit. Smoking a big cigar. He seems important. Just kind of randomly walking down the middle of the street. Uh, can I sense his motto? <laughs> yeah. Free. He wants to kill the thing behind you. There's a thing behind us? What's behind me? A small girl. Black hair. Dilated pupils, uh, dark gray shirt, little pink skull in the middle, pleated skirt, goth-type boots. Um, she has wings and a black halo. Oh. oh, hey! Do I see this girl? Yes. Holy shit. And she looks at you and says, you should move. Okay. Good old girls are using community. Bye! Just gonna move on over to the side. Um, big guy getting closer, you realize he also has a black halo above his head. Large, uh, wings rip out from behind him. He holds out his hands, and, um, what materializes is a large scythe, the size of which is insane, much like a Japanese... Hey, I want wings. And you are standing at the edge or in the middle of a battleground between two titans. Maybe we shouldn't be here. So you guys should roll me athletics. Oh boy. What about physique? Mm, you should roll me athletics. Can I pick him up and run? Never mind. You did good. You good. Actually, you do pretty good. So, giant scythe wh whips over your head, slices into a building. Hey, uh, Fox can be one now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there a car where it's able to get out? 
Yeah, your car's over there. Okay, I say we get in that and at least get out of its way. Yes, you start running towards your car, and then a small girl with black hair and black wings and stuff will fly past you and into the building. I yell, that's not fair, I wanted wings. Shut up. She yells as she runs out of the building wielding a scythe at the other guy. Hey, that's rude. Can I make his cigarette, or his cigar disappear? Yes, you Let's can. not piss off the angry gods. <laughs> what would that be? Destroy other three? Yeah. Can I make it blow up like little, yeah. like a little, uh, like firework type thing? Like yeah. Dude? Yes, sir. It explodes. Maybe in it face. leaves ash or something yeah. in his eye. Maybe. Momentarily. I don't even know what to call it. Like a moment of what? Oh, whatever. And it goes back to trying to kill the little girl. She's not doing so well. Um, Do we need her? I can't make his sight disappear, can I? Oh, yeah. It's too big. Something here. It's not the size of the That problem. it's a god object? <laughs> So I, I literally can't do anything to him. You can pretty much I don't do think punching is going to help. I don't know. Really <sighs> do I have anything on the back of my trunk that would do, like, any kind of the special items? Do you? Um, well, I have... Everything you can think of, I would keep it soft like crazy. Uh, I'd probably have one. I would probably have one. Yeah, don't put it Roll me your oh God. firearms. Do you have any good firearms, Fox, or, or Toko? You want to shoot this I bought one? my pistol. Wait, what? I don't have any firearms. You, what's your skill? Is it on the list? Mediocre. Shit. Okay, here we go. Hope it doesn't blow on our back. Blow up on our face. Aim it the right way. Negative two! God damn it. Well, I got my things to get away from me, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> so, I have this image of Fox just reaching into the back of his uh, trunk. Uh, Toko being like, what the hell are you doing? We need to go. Fox pulls out a freaking rocket launcher and just immediately fires while Toko hits the, uh, ground. Um, your uh, rocket-propelled grenade thing will, uh, hit an area of street, completely missing your target, yeah. but still blowing rubble all over the place. The two titans seem rather, uh, unfazed by this turn of events and start taking their fights upward onto the tops of buildings, um, which are not doing so good themselves, because apparently their weapons can slice clean through stone. Okay, I put it back in, and can I I try to take part, down part of a building he's, he's standing on? Sounds good. Uh, other... Solid destroy two? Really? Um, well you get a take building it's a bit bigger, so I go with area um okay. probably three for thirty feet. Three. You take down a <laughs> portion of a building. So whichever building he was on. Um so you said three four. Yeah, three for just the target. Uh, I use whatever this thing's called that gives it a negative one. Carefully. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whatever that Carefully means. Sure. 
let's uh, let's roll him a let's just fly. Come on. Uh-oh. Four. So, um, building starts crumbling beneath yeah. his feet, and he starts falling. Um, this is going to give yeah. your angel an edge. Though, not <laughs> enough. Um, next person to enter into the fight, a specific little girl with blonde hair that looks very much like you. The one I dropped the building on? Um... You know, the two could... Yes. The two could honestly be sisters. So are they yin yang type thing? One's good, one's bad? Yeah, they're very much a yin yang type Which thing. one's the good guy? One's life, one's death. For us? <laughs> um, presumably not the big guy with who good had point. a cigar and just blood. Depending on who the life lady fights, depends on who... They are both fighting the uh, oh, cool. this bigger angel person. Big black wings, black halo, giant scythe. He seems to be enjoying the, the guy that was falling. Yes, he seems to be having fun. Um, so, fight's gonna come down to your level. You motherfucker! That angel guy lands on the hood pull out the rocket launcher, smashing it in. Did they smash your car? What? <laughs> I'm here smashing in car. I shoot towards his frickin' chest. Yeah. And Screw you. Impact. Touch. Not as much as he uh, did. That's also going to hurt your car. <sighs> Damn it. You guys should both roll athletics. Yeah, about that. Can he drag me out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't want to fuck with that way. guy. That wasn't him. That was the rocket launcher damage, I think. Igniting the car. God damn it. Please don't say that. You know what kind of arsenal's in that car? We're getting the <laughs> fuck out. Let's see here. What is... A uh, lot. Say, All see, of it. What, is it, what kind of damage does a rocket launcher do? <laughs> Unless it's to me, then it's not as much. I'm still going to knock him down a block of hell. You started it. What the fuck? Don't touch, baby. Yeah. He would uh he would turn to attack you, but he quickly gets swarmed. This is where um Oh, oh great. Dr. Oh. Jekyll supposed to Oh, we killed him, so I guess He's it's our dead. responsibility to help. Is he who is he supposed to help? Oh, yeah, I remember what was supposed to happen. It's been a while. Yeah. So, uh, you God remember the Chupacabra, it. right? Well, there's another one. Son of a bitch. And it looks like it... Oh, do I see where it's at? It. Sadly, the audio's crap again. Yay. Um, the Chi. Chi is, um... What's her name? San... Sanerchi, um, the fortune teller lady, uh, eventually shows up. Yeah, fortune teller lady. Lucifer looks at her and says, Where the fuck were you? She has her head bowed. Sorry, master. <sighs> She's blind. And he points at you guys Bullshit. as she turns towards you. And... She is going to remove the big, fluffy, asian thing that covers the upper torso area. Um, her wrists and some of her hands are covered in bandages. She has a wrap around her breasts areas, 
and she I... is covered in a massive number of scars and brands. Those of you who speak Japanese, Toko, um, she is branded with the letter three over and over and over again. I do apologize for this. As Chi turns around to um, face the two, uh, Fox immediately tries to blow off one of her legs, and this is where they find out. And this is where he finds out that um, she is capable of predicting what he is going to do before he does it, making her nearly invulnerable to his uh, his abilities. Then Toko rushes in to you know hit the blind girl. And finds that, for the same reason that uh, Fox can't hit her, Toko can't hit her either. She um, pretty well dodges everything that Toko throws at her. She steps back and pulls a card. This card suddenly becomes a shovel. Um, it is a spade shovel. The end is flat. It's not curved like a normal modern-day spade shovel. Um, the blade on this seems rather uh, sharp. On the other end is a crescent moon type thing, uh, which also looks rather sharp. Nine! And she is going to fight you. <laughs> You'll be able to, like, take it and break it Yoko. and chunk it away or something. Three. Using feet points on that, too, to make it 11, just because. Wow. Not like overkill. So you get a plus two on your next action versus her. Um... Six. And there's two additional plus twos that you can add. Or that you can tag. You can only tag one at a time. Um, that also includes for um, Fox as well. So basically what happens is she tries to attack you with said shovel. Um, jumps on it. <laughs> spins around flings it at you. Um, you dodge and I don't know, fire blaster or something? Yeah, it's just a show. Makes her feel better. This is going to stun her. Though fire does not seem to affect her. So Fox and Mulder have a rather long and very difficult fight with uh, Chi. Um, she's a pretty powerful person, but towards the end they start giving the upper hand and uh, Fox manages to cripple her leg, or maybe it was um, Toko. I can't really be 100% sure. It's pretty bad. But, um, yeah, then the audio started working again, so I'll put that back up. She's going to stumble on her crippled leg. Look at both you and Fox. Sigh. I didn't see this coming. Um, She's going to make you this, isn't she? At this point, a black halo rolls across the ground along the, uh, you know, kind of does that little ring thing and stops spinning in between you and Fox. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's a bad open. As soon as I see that, can I throw up a barrier between me and it? Sure. Like a brace brace wall type thing? Yeah. In case it's going to explode. A seven. Why not make it think Did around the it? halo? Just Did help? I... Oh, yeah. I guess. I could cover the halo, I guess. You do that. So. Can I look to see whose halo it is? Yes. Uh, oh, I didn't like think it's the little girls. Of course it is. Okay. Her wings disappear. That sight. Mine or the other one? Yours. Okay. I thought the chick was gonna blow us up or something. So, what the fuck? Her sister. Bring her back. I yell at her. Bring her back. Well, she's not dead. Her halo just got knocked off. Oh, we can just give it back to her. Oh, Lucifer's laughing maniacally. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. Hey, two little girls, shut up. Do you want me to shoot you again with the rocket launcher, you ho? Huh? And, uh, Lucifer will demand 
his slave to get that for her. You covered it, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I put, a, like, essentially a dome over it connected to the ground. She undoes the dome. Well, while she's doing that, can't I attack her? Same. Yep. I'm going for the other leg. An eight. Yeah. I went for... Oh, she's going to burn a fate point. What's one going to do? Um, can I also get her? Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll burn a fate point, too, and make it back. Seven. I made mine... whatever it was. A ten. Yeah, I made mine a ten. Okay, yours becomes a ten? Yep. So oh, no, his becomes... Uh, mine, oh, mine, mine becomes a ten. If it goes ten, I guess I'll burn a fake point and make mine a nine. Great. She looks pretty fucked up right now. But she's still there. She's not fucked up enough. She's still standing. How's she, how's sort she of. standing? Her legs look kind of... She is leaning on her shovel. Both of her legs are fucked up. Can I just take the shovel from her? It's like, yeah. Just yank it out. Make her fall. Mm, if you want to take back a box of damage. No. Whenever I get a turn next, can I make her shovel disappear? <laughs> she hands the ring to her master. He sets it on fire. Looks at, uh... Your angel and laughs maniacally, and um, she is going to stick her shovel through his back. Ooh. Why would you let her go over there? Come on, man! Come on! You're man. in the fucking car. Yeah, I I'm not a strong person. I'm just strong-minded, and I, I obviously there I can't do anything to gods. Like, at all. He can well, punch well, well, So, the old lady just stabbed basically Satan in the back? Well, stabbed is a little odd. It goes right through and oh, out so his not chest. Actually, like... no, no, I mean, she does stab him oh. all the way through. <laughs> um, not having a shovel to lean on anymore, she, you know, hits her knees. Uh, Lucifer stops laughing for a moment. Looks rather surprised. In this moment, surprise! Um, sure. Let me find. Who are you punching? The girl or the Lucifer? Lucifer! <laughs> well, he Damn it! I'll burn can a I, point two. Can I make the shovel explode, like, making it into an explosive and, like, explode into him? Oh, my bad. I was looking at the wrong char character sheet. That should have been an eight. He messed Fuck. you. Oh, okay. Still no, want to spend a pay point? Can I make the shovel, turn the shovel into, like, an explosive that'll blow up inside of him? Sure. That's other solid transmute. Is it transmute? Or create? Okay. Trans yes. So, three... So what he's doing is he's breaking off this sh part of the shovel that's sticking out of him. Um, the rest of it explodes inside of him. Yeah. Did it do anything? You think it might have. Maybe. So does he look hurt at all? Yeah, he, he doesn't look too good. Um, there must have been something to do with this shovel. Because uh, that actually hurt him. And the audio goes to shit again. Well, uh, they realize that there's something up with Chi's shovel, because apparently that hurt him more than a lot of the other things did. Um, but he turns around, 
hits Chi with the flat end of the shovel part that he snapped off, and she ragdolls off into a building. Lucifer says something about having already won, you assholes, or something along that line, when um, the Angel of Death and her sister, Ellie, uh, hit him with like this simultaneous bolt of well, light from Ellie and um, darkness from the angel, uh, Kiri, the angel of death. And um, he seems rather surprised by this because he was pretty sure that if she didn't have a halo, she was useless. Um, so the only enemy right now is Lucifer? The only enemy is Lucifer. Not only is he wounded... Um, there seems to be, like, white whiffs leaking from the, uh, the shovel wound. And you can see a lot of white and black specters circling above. Okay. Can I... Huh. This is where Carson Soul was going to show up. But he's dead. This is why I want to just kill everybody! <laughs> Let me see. Can I? No, I don't know. Can I create around him a bunch of at least eight, maybe eight or more tentacles that reach out of the ground and just hold him down? Yes, you can. What would that be? So, you want to just do an area? Yeah, like the whole area. Just, like, tentacles just come up and start grabbing him. One solid traits three for sustain? Uh, what or it? instant. Instant would... Basically, it'd show up. So, sustain is what I need, then? I'm thinking sustain. Let's do a five. Six. Okay. Um, black aberrant tentacles wrap, run. Make sure one goes towards his butt, and one goes towards the hole in his chest and starts going inside. Sure. Yeah. We're right down to that. And that down is molested by ten days. <laughs> <laughs> molested by ten days. Maybe he needs to see a psychiatrist, psychologist after this. Um, tentacles rip themselves out of the ground and start wrapping it around him. That's really gonna hurt his ability to do shit. Toko. Fire jump. The fire. Uh, oh. He seems massively surprised that. Um, the little girl with no halo can actually do shit and basically yells, you can't do that. Three. Yeah, roll three yeah I rolled three negatives. <laughs> oh. Uh, minus two, so he rolled a two. He's going to burn a... So am I! <laughs> so he's at four, number five? Awesome. Yeah, I did some damage! Yeah. Just punching him! You, Fire! You, you... You punched Lucifer in the face. With fire. You think he'd be um, resistant to fire? Yeah, but is he resistant to punching? <laughs> well, probably not. So, let's go with, um... Allie and, uh, Kiri's turn. The Twisted Sisters. Roll me the 4DF plus oh, 5 Oh, man. Oh, come on! Yay, crappy audio. Um, well, the audio is so bad, it's really hard to tell what happened. But as it sounds like, um, basically, Toko and uh, the Witch of Life, Ali, and um, Kire, Angel of Death, um, I'll go for this guy's Halo. Um, Toko and Ali can't move it, but uh, apparently the Angel of Death can just, like, pick it up and do whatever she wants with it. So um, she grabs a hold of it and rips it off of Lucifer. 
So they're pulling you down, and this thing hits him from the top. Like, you just really create, create something? Create something on top of him and just drop on him, hit him, and push him down even more for them pulling him down. That's a four. Oh, crap. I'll reroll that with a fake point. <laughs> okay. Six. There you go. That's way better. Yeah. You open up a portal, and a giant obsidian obelisk lands on top of him. Yeah. Jesus. Crunch, crunch. Um, and it crushes him. Is he dead? Don't know. You have to wade through the tentacles and giant obsidian obelisk to find out. I might not feel God, but don't fuck with me. Your angel is going to produce a scythe in her hand, which is impossible for her to do, according to the late Lucifer. Weed through your tentacles to find him and rip him apart. Yeah. See, I was helpful. So. I pretty much six feet, which Hi, guys. Hi. What's up? So you are standing in front of a massive obsidian obelisk, tentacles writhing around it, ripped out of the ground. Um, Allie's going to just turn and walk away. He's, like, super dead now, right? Yeah... Yes, I think so. Not to worry anymore. Okay. Well, thank you for the help. Yeah, anytime. My back hurts. I should go back to the car. Bye. <laughs> Fox. What's up? I don't need you anymore. That's rude. Is it? Yeah. So you're saying you're going to kill me? No. Just stating I don't need you anymore. Well, you brought me back to help you, so I thought since you didn't need me, you would just tell me. I didn't want that. I think you've earned a second chance. Do I get to keep the not having to sleep and stuff? Because you get so much more done when you don't have to sleep and eat and stuff. Sure. That sounds fire. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. I get to keep dark physics too, right? That was from her or not? Nope, that's something you have. That's its own thing. I'll be here if you need more help sometime. Now where to find I'll keep that in mind. So, she starts walking away, and then just disappears. Um, should have asked her if she could just fix my car with the snap of her fingers or something. <laughs> Damn. And the steam starts closing. Everything starts fading in the back. Black, the... Uh, the good music starts playing, and then you hear a loud, loud sound. Everything snaps back in the Damn place. Damn it! As about 20 people... Oh, wait. Actually, I was going to ask you whether you're doing anything about Chi. Uh, go check, see if she's still alive, maybe? Okay. She's in a pile of rubble. There's a piece of rebar sticking Ooh. to her chest. I asked her why she stabbed him. But she's alive. I chose. You were bring. You were working for the other team, though. That's the reason why I was attacking you because you were up in my ass about how I was fighting for the wrong side. Blah blah blah. Did we? Win? Yeah, Lucifer's dead. So. She gives a faint smile, and then it fades, and you're pretty sure she's dead. 
Let's bring her back. <laughs> I don't think I can bring back the Titan. Well, I you guess. Can try it. Everybody can stand try. back. Everybody stand back. A very tired tail goes, I just back the fuck up, everybody. <laughs> and she goes back to the car. But I want to remove that, you know, rebar from her chest first. That's what you're for. You're the strong person. Yeah, I'm going to go sit in the car. I'm tired. <sighs> so let's see. Other four transmute five seven. Uh, let's use a fade point and burn her. Bring her back. So seven. Okay. You uh, transmute the rebar out of her. Repair her. Stick the soul yeah. back in. She takes a deep breath. <gasps> Not anymore. I'm dead. I brought you back. Back? I brought you to where you were earlier before you died. Yeah. I get to live? Well, you had died, but I, I changed it. I fixed it. You yep. changed the future? I ah. didn't see this one coming. Yeah. Shit happened. <laughs> I chose... I chose life. A couple times. So, I chose it for you. You're welcome. Thank you. And now 20 men are going to bust, ah. bust in. Bust in. So, um, yeah, they come through one of the piles of rubble. Um, big board thing gets knocked down. Bunch of guys with guns come running in. Um, pointed at, you know, Toko, Fox, this girl. Interesting thing about these guys, they all vaguely resemble Aaron. I look at him. Yes. Um, vaguely resemble, as in, like, the facial structure's there, but it's not Aaron. And then the last person to enter over the rubble is a dark-haired young lady, roughly 20 years old. She has a, you know, tight tactical clothing kind of put on her very dark um, black wings black tail um, Dragonov sniper rifle slung over her back she's carrying a pistol she looks at you and says what we the killed fuck Lucifer please put your guns away I'm tired of fighting holy shit it's like a very expensive gun don't do that yeah. Okay, we'll say it again because I just hit the record button. Uh, I raise my hand in the air, I snap my finger, and I want her gun to disappear. Okay, it disappears. She does not seem surprised. Uh, well, other than the fact that you guys are standing here. <laughs> so it's like, oh, why? Why do you always do this? Can I use a force punch? You know, where they, like, slam their hands on the ground and energy bursts out, knocks everybody out, and we can just leave. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to say no. Aww. That's what the Choco should do. In the end, Fox decided to teleport him, uh, Toko, and Chi to the police precinct. And then complain about his car. <laughs>